Hi everybody, this is Titi Readings and hi Sagittarius. Let's see what messages will come through for you guys. What do we have for Sagittarius? In case this resonates, there will be a link in the description box to the extended to find out how is your person thinking, feeling about you, their next moves, outcome advice, love notes, guidance from spirit, and your future love. So do check it out. I'll be leaving a link in the description box below for you guys. Now let's see, what do we have for Sagittarius? I will also be picking out oracle guidance towards the end of the video, okay? Wow, you have the Wheel of Fortune with the Emperor. I feel like you're letting go of something, but I also feel like Sagittarius are taking control. Um, there's a big change, there's a major shift that I see you headed towards. Something is about to change for you. And I feel like you may even be experiencing a change in your life from the past four to six weeks. Who is on your mind here with the Emperor and the King of Cups? Wow. This is nice. But the problem here is that these are your past energies. Okay. Let's see. Wow, even your energies for the present are nice. It's a good Sagittarius reading. Sagittarius doesn't always get good readings. This is a good one. Okay. I feel like you're avoiding somebody. And somebody here does feel avoided by you. <laughs> Man, this is nice. Your overall energy is the two of pentacles with the nine of swords and the star. It's like you, you wished for something to happen a certain way. And I feel like you're giving up on that hope now. Sagittarius. Okay. Um... You may be dealing with somebody who's very bossy or just somebody who, yeah, somebody who's very bossy, somebody who tries to control things, um, could be Aries Leo Sage. But I feel like this is about you having to detach from your feelings because I feel like you, you deeply, deeply feel for somebody here. Um, I do see that things are about to change or things are changing. For you. I feel like right now you're keeping your energy very light. It's like you're wanting to have fun. You're wanting to move forward. You're wanting to enjoy yourself. And with the Six of Wands energy, this talks about success and forward movement. But what is the sense of detachment that you have towards something? It's like you're trying to walk away from something or you're trying... It's like you're saying goodbye to some of your old habits or some of these old people. And you have a decision to make, which we will clarify and see. But whoever you're dealing with is feeling um, a bit discontent or they're feeling a bit rejected. They're hoping to hear from you or they're hoping to connect with you, but we will see. I don't think so. I don't think that they will hear from you because I feel like you're detaching. Mm -hmm. So this person missed out on an opportunity with you. From what I can see at least. Let's see, let's clarify. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune for Sagittarius. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune for Sagittarius. Three of Wands. With the Four of Wands and the Lovers. And the Page of Wands. 
I feel like you're done defending yourself in a certain situation. It's like you yourself are hoping for a change. You're hoping to go forward with your life and you're, you know, you're opting for new things or, you know, you're just, you're doing your thing, basically. I feel like something is about to come your way. For some of you, this could be traveling, but for others of you, I'm really seeing that there's a choice that there is literally a choice that you're making. And that choice is about focusing on your stability, focusing on your money, your work, your family. But Wheel of Fortune to the Three of Wands tells me that there's something that's about to change and this is in your destiny. And this is something that you cannot avoid. Tell me about the emperor. Emperor is your challenge, seven of cups. This could be somebody who is who is very confusing, somebody who's a player. I feel like this person makes it seem like they have a lot to offer to you, but they actually don't. This is somebody who has ghosted you several times. This is somebody, like I said, this is somebody who looks very promising. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but they always disappoint you, five of cups. It's like every time you try to move on from this person, they appear back in your life with the devil energy. And then you're like, when you think about this person, I feel like Sagittarius, you just feel very confused most of the time. So I feel like that's why maybe you're not wanting to give in to this because you feel like, what is the point? But this is somebody who confuses you or this is somebody who is very player-like. And I feel like you're refraining from going back to this person or you're you're no longer going to be an option for this person. Tell me about the King of Cups. <laughs> the Knight of Wands. You have love for this person, don't you? But it's like now you see them for who they are and now you're trying to detach from the King of Cups to the King of Swords you're becoming. So you see this person, you feel like they play games with you and you genuinely love them. So you feel like there's no compatibility here because they're playing games and you're genuinely in love. This is somebody you maybe were in a relationship with for a short while or maybe somebody's already in a relationship. I'm not sure about that, but we will see. Oh yeah, this became a burden. I feel like some of you wanted to have a relationship with this person, but it kind of became a burden. Because again, you and this person are not on the same page or were not on the same page. You were hoping for something else and they were hoping for something else. Yeah, I feel like you see them for who they are now. And yeah, with the death card, you're, you're accepting the fact that this maybe is done. It's like you're not willing to play games. You're not wanting to play games. You're not wanting to indulge in these games. Point blank period. Yeah, the something here has left you very unhappy. I feel like you're now kind of like in that deep introspection or you've already gone within to find answers and you feel like this just does not work for me anymore. I feel like you're moving forward. Some of you could be learning something new or some of you could be keeping tabs on this person, but I really don't think so. But maybe sometimes you do. I'm not entirely sure. There's a little bit of curiosity on your end, but I feel like for the most part, you see somebody for who they are and you're, you feel like it's a burden and you're trying to unlove them, okay? That will be the right way to put it. You're trying to unlove somebody. Tell me about the King of Swords, Page of Cups. Don't tell me you don't have love for this person. I feel like you have love for this person somewhere you know, in your heart, some corner of your heart. I don't know. You still have some feelings, but it's like, honestly, you're more tired than... 
I mean, it's like a fatigue. It's like, you know, there's there's more of a fatigue than than love, I would say. So King of Swords is like that defense mechanism here. Ooh, you know, I'm not going to give in to this because it tires me out. And I'm, you know, I'm protecting myself. Yeah, the Pentacles to the Five of Cups. Oh, to the Knight of Cups. This is somebody who now wants to offer you love. This is somebody who is looking forward to talk to you. And they're heavily disappointed. I feel like there could be a little bit of that regretful energy as well coming from your person. Eight of Pentacles. Man... They want to work on things with you. But your overall energy is the two of pentacles for the reading. This is somebody who's disappointed. They have regrets. This could be a businessman or a woman as well. Again, this is somebody who looks very promising. But every time they show up in your life, they, they don't really act upon that. Um, Sagittarius. You have the hermit energy, yeah. Six of Swords to the hermit. You're moving on from something. You're emotionally, mentally, physically withdrawing. For some of you, this is about traveling. For some of you, this could be withdrawal. But with the hermit energy, and now that we are in Virgo season, I feel like you're, I do feel like you are saying goodbye or trying to at least say goodbye. You have already found your new passion or you will. Like you'll find your passion in something else like a hobby, a job or something. Eight of Cups. A very, very strong energy of you wanting to walk away. Why? Because you feel stuck. I feel like you've been quite up in your head about this. And you feel like it's, it's about time that you walk away. And some of you may not be at this place because the Ace of Wands to the Eight of Cups is your future energy. So, yeah. Let's see, your advice is a chariot and your overall energy is the two of pentacles. So let's see. Don't get caught up in drama. Make a vibe. Okay, so I feel like this is telling you to be, be the bigger person in a dramatic situation where you know there are people who are... Um, I don't know, like, you know how there are people who always have to have a say in our life and they want to poke their nose in our business and stuff. Don't get caught up in that. For some of you, it could be work-related politics or I don't know, it's like people trying to ruin it for you, but your King of Pentacles tells you that you're above this. So there may be some naysayers, but you're above that. With the Chariot, it talks about determination and keep moving forward. It also talks about patience sometimes, and I feel like... With the King of Pentacles, it is talking about patience and perseverance. So I see a little bit of a push and pull in the energy, but you can stay on top of it because you can. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles for Sagittarius, the world. Yeah, you have to make a choice. And the choice is that if something is coming to an end, you have to let it come to an end. Okay. Self-control, patience, staying calm. Somebody or something may test your patience. And you may need to stay calm. You know? What do we have for Sagittarius, please? In case this resonates, there will be a link in the description box to the extent if you want to more. If you want to know more about your past person, your new person, advice from spirit, and your future love. Bring love into the situation. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Aries got pretty similar cards. You and your loved ones are safe. I feel like for some of you, you're a bit worried about something. But it's telling you that it's okay. It's also telling you to open your heart. 
the love. Something that was tough has ended, but let's see. What do we have for Sagittarius? Wisdom and facade. Yeah, see, there, like, there is somebody who's trying to like. wrap you up in their words or i don't know with the five of wands and the facade energy this is not something nice and with the wisdom right next to it it's telling you to use your own brain i feel like you need to be warned about somebody like there is somebody in your environment could be a friend a lover a family member i'm not sure who this is but there's somebody here who is who knows your triggers who knows what to say when to say how to say and somebody knows how to keep you know wrap you up in their words and i feel like there's a there's this feeling of you wanting to do something that you know is not the right thing for you to do but you still want to do it victim balance is needed um, again you know there's somebody who's able to get you in that victim mode so you figure it out Sagittarius what's up with this I like you someone likes you romance is blooming fun, fun flirting wanting to date love is coming in for you somebody is coming towards you the snake but you may not trust this person wedding rings not enough somebody is married uh, so there could be somebody who is married here but there's a third party or something like that but I really feel like some of you may be on social media like your work is related to social media something is coming to an end and whatever this is whichever relationship is coming to an end I feel like it gave you a ton of low confidence but I still see that there's somebody who's interested in uniting with you but you don't trust them learning from your past mistakes love call to the mirror sagittarius you're going to be getting contacted by somebody but with the mirror it tells you that whatever is triggering you is already within you so mirror kind of tells us to look within to find that insecurity heartbroken man sagittarius just beware that's about it. Those were the messages that popped out for Sagittarius. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Check out the extended link below to find out how's your person thinking and feeling about you and what is spirit wanting to tell you and a bit about your finances. So do check it out. I'll be leaving a link in the description box below for you guys. Take care, Sagittarius, and bye-bye.